Are we on? Yep, you're on. Uh, All right. right. Good evening. Welcome to the Max and Gwen Show. The Max and Gwen Show with John and Gwen. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, we should announce why Max isn't here again. Yep, yep. He's uh he's getting a new band, getting a new band going, and their rehearsal nights are Tuesdays. Yep. So likely he won't be able to make um, every show, but hopefully he can pop in now and again. Right. That would be awesome. Yeah, that'd be great if he could. I'm sure he could take a night off from practicing, you know, with his new band. So tonight we're excited because we got the famous Tom Irwin with us. Absolutely. All right. Been late for this show as well. So what do you think, John? I think we're ready to go. I'm trying to find the... Uh... You can't find us? No. Nope. Oh, well, hold on a minute. Talk to the folks and I'll find us. <laughs> well, that's me. You know All righty. There you there are. We go. There you go. You're on, John. All right. So, um... We're so glad to have Tom Irwin with us. We've been very excited about this. Absolutely. You know, I mean, Tom's been around as long as we have. Yeah, no goodness. He has been around longer than I have. But Tom, <laughs> I said, you guys both tell folks that. <laughs> You're just giving away our darn age. <laughs> so anyway, we thought we'd start the show off with, I want Tom to sing a song right off the bat. I if would we love go. that. All I right. think that'd be great. So everybody, Tom yeah, Irwin. Yeah, yeah. I see a little baby in a dirty sock, his hand and mouth is full of rocks. Chew him up, baby, chew him up good, swallow him I thought you would. I'm digging in the dirt, digging in the dirt, digging in the dirt, till you can't no more. Digging in the dirt, digging in the dirt, digging in the dirt, just a little bit more. Well, I sit in the sandbox, sand pile high, I'll build my castle to the sky. Six stones, I'll play all day. My daddy just works his life away. Digging in the dirt, digging in the dirt, digging in the dirt, till you can't no more. Digging in the dirt, digging in the dirt, digging in the dirt, just a little bit. Look out! But I don't love you. Well, I stick my shovel in the sod and bob and bob and bob every clock. Bring it smooth, bring it fine, and I wait for the moon to shine, shine, shine. What could happen and who can tell? Water and wind, the sun and earth. Death to one is another one's birth. That you're digging in the dirt, digging in the dirt, digging in the dirt, till you can't no more. Digging in the dirt, digging in the dirt, digging in the dirt, just a little bit more. Well, I'm getting a little old, a little tired too. What do you think they're going to do? Wait till I'm gone and passed away, and then they'll dig another hole in there. Now they've laid me down in the ground on the worm set the table all around. Look at me, Ma, look what I made. Here comes my baby, she's toting the spade. She's digging in the dirt, digging in the dirt, digging in the dirt, just a game for more. Digging in the dirt, digging in the dirt, digging in the dirt, just a little bit more. Just a little bit more. I'll have a little longer. I'll be digging in the dirt, digging in the dirt, a little bit longer. So when you yeah. play out, do you do um, any covers, or is it all original? No, I do a little of both. Um, oh, okay. I just there's certain songs I like that I, that I'll do. I played uh, what Cafe Real last Saturday, which is kind of a restaurant, you know. So I did. Yeah. It's been no everybody's just eating out and paying attention. So yeah. I picked out a lot of old uh, country stuff that I liked. Oh some, yeah. You know, I like the old Chris, country. I love some old Chris Christopherson. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. And uh, the Willie and the, like, I don't know. 
nobody knows those songs anyway anymore. It seems like, you know what I mean? Sometimes yeah. it depends. I picked these old songs. I did a lot of Towns Van Zandt, some stuff like that, some Guy Clark and John Bryan, stuff that kind of fits my voice at least. Well, I like that last song now. Yeah. You got that on CD? I do. It oh, wow. came out in uh, 1993. <laughs> <laughs> I bet people can go to your website and order that. Can't they, they? I think they can. Yes. We got That's audience right. participation tonight. Yay! Yeah. <laughs> I'm kidding. Yeah. Who got the? Who is that I voice? I don't know. <laughs> I think he might get up here in a little bit. And take my seat. All right. You know, and because I think he's known you a lot longer than I have. Yes. I, He's a lot older than me, that's why. That's why. You can tell. Uh, one look at him, you can tell. <laughs> <laughs> so, some of your favorites, uh, you talk Willie Nelson. Yeah, yeah. Some of your yeah. Chris. Chris, of course. Not, and then I still always like, uh, I don't know, I've, I've still been Bob Dylan since the beginning just because he just kind of did everything, you know. Yeah. Oh, everybody yeah. does his songs from, uh, you know, I mean, Guns N' Roses, you know, uh, yeah. did one of his songs, and Jimi Hendrix, mm -hmm. you know, so everybody kind of think of him as a folky, but uh, Garth Brooks did cover that one of his, so, you know, I don't know, he's just kind of in the league all of his own, so I just kind of like, it's really just, yeah. he's just a weirdo, but he is who he is, you know. <laughs> well, all the musicians, I think, are kind of weird, don't you? Well, no, so I'm what? Not, you're not. I am, I'm a little yeah, weird, huh, Johnny? Not. We like uh, that. That's my brother. Yeah. <laughs> No, but no anyway, comment. I go comment. <laughs> a little weird. So when did you start singing and playing? Uh, I kind of got a late start to singing and playing. Mm -hmm. um, I played bass originally back in when I was like 13, 14. Hey, that's our new bass player. I do it. Uh, I love playing bass. <laughs> I play bass all night long. Oh, wow. We didn't know that. but There we go. Let me know. Yeah. I, I played, well, I had, we had a band called Zeus. Uh -huh. It was, uh, we, you know, we stayed out of Jerry Turley's all the time. Jerry oh, wow. and Ralph ran sound and, did, and, yes. and used to do open up and play with us all the time. That's why Jerry and I first met. We were like both 16 because he had a 65 jazz bass and I had a mm -hmm. 64. Wow. And we just got him. We bought him like the same time. And so we, we were best friends for a long time on that kind of stuff. And then I got working. After that kind of broke up, the hard rock thing, then I got into some other stuff and played bass in what they call the New Wave Band, which I still don't know what that means, because I do some of those songs now still, but right. it was out of Crow's Mill School, and it was kind of okay. a weird time, and the Talking Heads were coming out, and Elvis Costello, and Gang of Four, and all those weird wow. bands. So, I still didn't know how to sing, I still don't know how to sing, but anyway, okay. I kind of got away with this a while. And then that band broke up, like, 86, like that. Mm -hmm. I was working... God, I can't believe I was working at Marine Bank back then. I actually got a job as a co computer operator. Don't tell wow. anybody. Wow, I won't. <laughs> yeah. Don't tell nobody out there. It didn't last very long. Hey, can everybody hear Tom and us okay out there? It, it, it sounded, I can hear it. Good. Uh, I can hear him talking. I didn't get to hear him oh, saying. Oh, he's such a soft talker. I worry about him. Kind of, I guess. Okay. <laughs> So, well, he's projecting pretty well. We'll project, yeah. 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 His room's projecting. Nice. He's shy, yes. that's what it is. He's like, yeah, I'm shy. Aren't hey, you first, in the heart? You I'm, I'm really shy. Yeah, I'm, I'm in the heart. I'm not, not, I'm not shy playing, but right. this, I'm shy. No, I'm the same way. Ugh. You know, People it's are, like, what? They probably say that to you, too. How do you get up there and sing and you can't, and you talk, somebody walks in the room and you're like, hi. Right. Yeah, I know. <laughs> that's me. I hide in the corner. Like when we did our first show last week, I was like, oh my gosh, the uh -huh. camera. It was a lot of fun. Yeah, it was so fun. Great. You know, and then, you know, Jack and Ashley and John pulled me out of it. So yep. there I am, and here I am today. Here you are. So Just we'll see what happens. <laughs> turn the lights on. And yep, turn the lights on. And so what's some of your, uh, the venues that you prefer? The more intimate? Uh, the more intimate crowds? Mostly or? I do, yeah. We, we did a... Um, yeah, just because, well, man, it's kind of an economic thing, I guess. I can make more money, honestly. Mm -hmm. And I can, probably, I can pick whatever song I want to play, too. And, um, and, you know, just going out and playing stuff and stay busier that way. We had some good gigs, did some stuff at Moondock <coughs> last year. We got those open up for Billy Bob Thornton a couple oh, times. Oh, wow. He was just a great, uh, greatest guy in the world. Uh, he's an interesting guy. Yes, he is. <laughs> he's really something. I could add it. He wouldn't stop talking. I was out there at the time. I had to go. I had, he didn't have nothing to do, right, but talk and then go do his gig. I, had, mm -hmm. I was in town, so I started to go back home and get dressed. And uh -huh. like, like, Billy Bob, like, sorry, I got, I got to go, man. You're already talking to you. Just start talking to somebody else. Well, he might have rolled home with you so he could keep talking to you, huh? should have done that. He probably you would have, yeah. You know how they are when they meet a celebrity. They just keep talking. They just keep talking. <laughs> I know. He talked to you. But we had the band out there, and that, that's good. So I, I like it. I like to do both, really, I really do. I'm sure. really lucky I can't feel it lucky that I can do both. And then my wife plays flute, so we do that little thing, a lot of Irish music sometimes. Oh, that's that's cool. cool, yeah. 
Yeah, yeah my son, my oldest son is a good guitar player, so I don't know, I just, I like to mix it up. Put it you got there. a family band going, huh? Yes, yeah, we had the Irwinites for a little while. All right. Actually, we're playing this Saturday, I guess I could pitch that. Yeah, where That's are we playing? Uh, 316, a little wine bar down in Chatham. Okay, yeah, wow. It's outside, and Owen's going to play, he's got his D28, and uh, so... So Saturday, Saturday 16 in Chad. Yeah, what time? What time? Six to go? nine. Six to nine. Okay. Yeah, hopefully we'll be, be outside. Be sure to come out. And check them out. It's gonna be great. Well, we're gonna try. It's gonna be great. Right. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Do you get nervous? Yes. Oh. No. Yeah, yes. Really? Yes. I hope so. I always figured if you're not getting nervous, it might be time to you know. Mm. And in some ways, you know, if you're not a little yeah. bit nervous about it, well, I mean, yeah, before I'm I only nervous here. if I'm getting ready to sing or play my lead. Yeah. Which I get a couple lead songs a night with the boys. Oh, yeah. But with the <laughs> girls, I get like 20. Right. I'm right. Kidding. But yeah, that's when I get a little nervous. Yeah. It's my first song, and yes. I'm talking and I'm hoarse, but then somehow. There it comes, yes. It's out. And it's still bad, but I still do. It. That's so right. I don't care. <laughs> so <laughs> I feel. We're, we're, we're in agreement on that. We're but um, we got special guest co-host that really oh, yeah. wants to come and talk with you. And I'm, <laughs> I was hoping that you and him could maybe even do a little song. Well, that would be wonderful. Yeah, okay. Yeah. All right. So we're going to get our brother Alan up here, and I'm going to take a break. All right. Okay. Alan. Alan. Yeah. Alan. 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 Well, when I... When Gwen told me that Tom was going to be the guest, I actually asked. Uh, well, you might. I, no, I man. I actually asked if I'd come by. And, actually, I just asked if I'd come by and just do a little bit of the yeah. talking interview because of our history. Right, right. And then uh, she said that you were gracious enough to ask me to maybe pick on a song or two. I, I'd love it. I was it. like, that'd be real fun. Yeah. The reason I wanted to do this is... Uh, Couple of reasons. Well, Tom and I, it's, I won't pretend that we're like great buddies for all these years, but we've been pretty good, had a really nice relationship yes. for, for decades. Mm -hmm. yeah. And uh, we've worked together many times, many times for Rick Dunham, uh -huh. Elvis himself, yes. over the years. Yeah. We've done a lot of shows. Uh -huh. And those, Rick, Rick's a fantastic singer. I mean, he came out and sang with me Sunday. Did he? Can we sing a couple? We just, Gosh, that yeah. man. We did oh. El Paso, and we did Stephen Sondheim. I mean, he did some Sondheim, I mean, and then we did Elvis, of course, but, and a couple Irish songs. Oh. I mean, that was... that was. Well, no, this is weird. your show. I couldn't help it until we did. Well, well, how great Rick is. Yeah, man. I agree. Yeah, great. He's good. But yeah, we've but. done a lot of shows with Rick, and then when I was house guitarist at Nashville North, yeah, uh, we had all the Nashville acts coming through. But we, we the, the house band always would open the show. and We'd have a local guest. And Tom came out there and was a guest at that show. They asked me, there was like three choices, and one of them was Don Williams. Like, I'll take Don Williams. Yeah. Nobody else wanted to open up for Don I, Williams. I wasn't, I'm glad you remember who yeah. the headliner was that night. Oh, Lord. They, they brought in some. Good Don Williams. I remember Tammy Wynette and Rascal yeah. Flats coming through and Billy Ray Cyrus. And, uh, but, uh, gosh. And you know everybody. There was an age restriction, age limit there. Like you had to be at least seventy-five to get. <laughs> <laughs> but, but this is just having fun because right. what a wonderful crowd. Yeah. But let me tell we'll you, never wait. you did That's such just... a great job. You come out there, and these folks, they done bought their ticket to see Don Williams or Ray Price or Tammy Wynette. So, and they're not drinking. So yeah. there's a lot of pressure to, they're like going, okay, I paid my money, you better entertain me, because I came here for the, you know, the big dogs. Mm -hmm. you, you did one heck of a job. You did a lot of original stuff that night, too. That was yeah. Fun. And the band was great. I mean, I give all credit to the band. I had to walk out there and sing, and, and you arranged, did all the arrangement for the yeah. intros out, and then solos and stuff, which was fine. I, I, I loved but that. I had good people. I had good steel players, yeah. the drummer, and I, everyone had good people, and uh it was a good show, but one of the things, too, I wanted to get in, why I wanted to interview, is to say that for decades, you've done more for us local musicians yeah. as far as promo, kind words, with your work with the times. You've been so gracious, so kind, and you have, it doesn't matter who the act is, what style of music, you make sure that you highlight and give everybody wonderful support yeah and i wanted to thank you for that and i i think the people out there deserve to they need to know you need to think about what tom has done for all the local music community 
through his writings. Well, anyway, my thank brother. Thank you. Yeah. So I'll shut up because I think oh. you're gonna. Yeah. Well, I'm glad they've done it. I'm... <clears throat> And just another gig too. That, 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 a lot of people think yeah, I work there. I don't work at the factory anymore. I just write my stuff and send it in. I just figured I, I just wished if I didn't do it, somebody was doing it. So I'm glad I get I don't yeah. know who would do it as well. No, that's not. So what are you thinking? Right. Willie Nelson song? My yeah. Song. You okay with that? Yeah, you, you bet. Uh, in, 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 in true transparency, I don't know this one. And just before the show, I said, man, can you kind of like run over the chords real quick? And, it's a so, Willie song. It's easy. It's uh, just got seven chords and under minutes. But as you know, uh, <laughs> and I don't play it the way Willie does it either. No, as so you know, know Willie kind of invents timing each yes, time he, he does, does the song. I so. love it. I love Willie Nelson. All right. We opened up. That was my biggest gig ever. Open up. Open up for him at the Illinois State Fair in 2001. Wow. I've seen him at the State Fair. We opened up in 2001. We, uh, I, I, my band and. Uh, the hired hands, and everybody's like, are you going to play your Willie, your Willie song? I was like, no, you don't open up for the guy and play his song. They're like, oh, you know those guys. Yeah. Like, you're going to play Angel? Yeah. Like, no, that's, he does that. Yeah. I'll do that at the brew house later on. But anyway, uh, that was that was a great moment, and he uh, really, really is a very kind person. Well, the people I heard you mention earlier that you like, it's the songwriters. Yeah. And that's, that's, that's your thing, man. Yeah, it is. And, you know, Willie's one of the best ever. So, and he can sing too. So, so you're going to do Angel Flying Too Close to the Ground? Yeah, that's good. That's what happens when you're Willie and you have a big fight with your wife. You write a song and make a million dollars. I just <laughs> got in trouble. Sing all the best, right? You'd not have fallen. Why'd I not have found you? An angel flying too close to the ground. I patched up your broken wings and hung around a while Trying to keep your spirits up and your fever down I knew that someday Soup du jour, they call him Michael Soup Grand, the bass player in the Ozark Mountain Daredevils. He wrote this oh, book okay. called It'll Shine, which is the whole story of it. I never opened up for the Daredevils, but but when they came up and played at the State Fair, all the rest of the band guys would go to sleep at night. And this is this was in the early not ninety one, because I read spread it in the book the other night. Soup would go out and hit all the bars, you know, and because that's how he is, still is. He just goes out and sees what's going on. And, then, and he came into Bruce's Tavern. I was playing there because you know, remember during the state fair, the bars would stay up until three. Uh -huh, yeah. It's like 
never really understood that, but it was okay. Yeah. Because we still had to keep playing. So like 2.30 in the morning, he comes wandering in, and I was playing all my silly songs like, I'll be your bull, you'll be my heifer, yep. and the mystery of the turd. You know, he wrote <laughs> the mystery of the turd. I, I, I play that about once every 10 years. But anyway, we were, became good friends. So um, I met some people through him, like Buddy Cage, and uh, anyway, Soup's just a great guy. He lives down in Nashville now. We wrote, actually wrote, I was going to mention that, you ask uh, that picture, I'm going to say, where the heck, Gwen got that picture that's on the, on the Facebook page, or on the invite, but that was from 1992 when, so when, when you were like excellent. 17? 17, yeah, yeah. No, was it, remember that, the patchwork thing? Uh-huh, yeah. And uh, the song, that, as I put on here, was a song that Soup and I wrote called the Yuppie Blues. I don't do it much anymore because nobody knows what a yuppie is. I don't think we even have yuppies anymore. <laughs> They're all gone. God, I'd bring that up. You should write a song but, about, you know, the loss of the yuppies. You lost the yuppies. Yeah. Well, we already wrote one about the yuppies. I, I don't think they're worth writing another one about. Them. But, <laughs> soup. So I don't. I opened up. Who else? Willie, uh, Rosie Flores. Not any other really big, big names. But can't get much bigger than Willie. No, oh, yeah. really can't. Can. And it was all because of my sister, actually. Um, taught his kids in Maui with Lucas. Okay. So she's real good friends with Lucas. I think I got Lucas. Yeah, we can call Lucas right now. Should we call Lucas now? Oh, yeah. Sure! Yeah. Uh, yeah. We'll we'll have a conference call. Let's have a conference call. Yeah. Actually, he's on the show in two weeks. Soon. There we go. Soon. Soon. Right. Right. We'll see if we, see if we get Lucas on here. Yeah. Otherwise, I, we all, I have to go all the way back to 1976 when we opened up for Ruby Star. Okay. With Jim Dandy, remember that she? I did. Yes, that, we, that was kind of a big, big day for us. But somewhere in the middle, we just. I mean, I was barely born. But yeah. <laughs> I, 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 well, that, that's too. nice sounding acoustic. And yeah. I know you were telling me that one of our fellow guitar players—is this the one that he worked on? Well, he's got the Gallagher too. Yes, oh, he just oh. did, he just did work on this one too. Got the pickup yeah. kind of going and did it. Uh, yeah. yeah, this is. A, Let's throw his name out. Yeah, yeah. Uh, He's a fellow picker for many years. Most people would know him around here as Ted Davis, but he moved to Chicago and took back his original name, which was Andy. Andy, yeah. He played in Castle Holiday back in yeah. the day, remember? Oh, yeah. And, uh, but he's moved back here now because he's been in, he was in Chicago, I can't believe it, that long here, 27 years, he said. Oh, wow. But he just yeah. moved back a few months ago, or a few, actually, but not that long just a fine musician and now I hear he's a yes. very skilled luthier so. he is he does I hack up my own guitars I may have to yes uh, at least yeah. you know what to talk to him about yeah. I, I just like I don't yeah. know what to do just make it sound yeah. good please I'm gonna get off of here in a minute I'm gonna pick one more one more oh, oh, yeah. right. you do that uh, yeah, okay. I'll let you guys take over the interview right. but yeah, I want to, because you were going to be the guest, I actually asked, can I come? And well, just, I'm glad you did, Alan. It's great. And we've always been glad to have you. We were in uh, Naples. Yes, recently. Uh, I was playing the opening Christy gig, and you're with yeah. uh, NCR. I think we were doing the, the show at one end, and you, you finished out someone's, someone yeah. had to leave and go do something, yep. and you were the other end doing your... Solo act. That's right. And that's where uh, you showed me the cool new guitar you got. Yes, that was this one. So it's going again. So I think the next one we'll play then. We're how close are we to Fairview Park? Isn't it like like the right oh, there? Oh yeah, it's I mean, down. You're down here, down 19th. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So I was wandering around there in <coughs> 1989, mm -hmm. I think it was, and sat down on the park bench and wrote this song. So I thought it'd be a good place to do it. Great. Yeah, this is the one. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Those. Feel a little bit tired Feel a bit beat up Feeling a bit like giving in But not a lot like giving up Whispering wind All through my head Just to promise me I won't die here in this bed then I wake to the beautiful sound of everything I've searched for and I found. God, I love the laugh, but first I cry. Then I promise you I will never say goodbye. 
Somebody to interview us because it'd be kind of yeah. weird interviewing you. I'll interview you. Oh. <laughs> John will interview Chris. I'll tell you what to say. John will interview us. Yeah. But yeah, yes. we're going to need somebody to interview us. Yeah. Yeah. Change. She's going to tell us what to say again. What? <laughs> Don't tell them what to say. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Don't tell them what to say. 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 Don't tell my niece Nikki runs the place, so what is that? Know, my son it says that I'm not sure who's going to show up. Some early yeah. we have my family band. Uh -huh. Family bands, gotta love them. <laughs> yes. Yeah, yeah. And then you'll have some CDs with you. Yeah, I sure will. Good. Good. I, got, interesting. Yeah. I got five CDs still in print, and a couple I'm missing. So awesome. Oh. Yeah. Well, you'll have some CDs for Saturday album. night. Got my vinyl too. If anybody oh, got there, oh, that's right. awesome. That's cool. Put the last album out on vinyl. That's that very cool. Yeah. Um, I got to ask you because. I decided I'm going to ask everybody that's on our show, you sing in the shower. Oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I love it. There you go. Yay. I was trying to get it. That's, that's, no, I'll just leave it right Wait, there. Wait, that's all I need now. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were going to ask some other things. No, 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 no. no, no. That's just a PG-13 show. Not until the camera's off. That's good. That's no, right. Just kidding. No, I sing in the shower. That's the only time I sound really good because you got the reverb in there and it sounds wow. nice. Wow. Love the acoustics, yeah. I yeah, tried it so. once, but water kept getting in my mouth and I was choking, <laughs> so I, I just gave it up, you know? <laughs> Johnny, I like, like songs in the shower. That's sometimes that's a good place to write too. If you're in there for a while. 
Yeah. You, what do you, white with soap and oh, on the wall or, oh, okay, and then, okay. Johnny, we don't want to tell them where you sing. No, we're, we're well, right. We'll wait for the show. Uh, okay. Another show, we'll Another discuss show. where we discuss. learned Johnny could actually sing. Yeah. Wow. Really? Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Let's embarrass Johnny. Sure. He had no it was show like a couple hey, weeks ago, but we'll discuss it later, huh? It was fun, yeah. Yeah. It was like, what is that? <laughs> music, yeah, music is, uh, it is fun. It's a blessing to be able to entertain and to, it really to be able to have folks, local musicians, come through and, and just talk to everybody out there that's been watching them for yeah. years and years and get yeah. to know a little more about you and, and some of the things you're doing. It's great. I think it's fantastic what you're doing. This is just, yeah. I appreciate you coming. Yeah, it's kind of like an old, old TV show or something. Yeah. Like, so what's going to be like? Like a good, an old, you know. Oh, Lucy and Desi, huh? There we go. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're not quite that funny, but uh, maybe you got, okay. You see your box down there, yeah. though. I look at Lucy. Yeah, I do have my Lucy movies, <laughs> my TV shows. But we want to thank you so much. Well, yeah, that absolutely. Was, yeah, we I'm done so already? I can't believe it. Yeah, unless you guys have other people? No, I, 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 I mean, that's no, yeah. no, no, that's fine. I'm just thank you guys for having us and doing it. I just like I'm used to doing three hour shows oh. and getting warmed up. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be sleeping. Uh, go, ahead, go, ahead, go ahead and your website where folks can go. Yeah, uh, Tom Irwin Music dot com. Got it on there. Tom I Irwin I, Music dot com. I got most of my CDs and albums are down and recycled. <laughs> And, uh, oh, that's awesome. Cool. That, so. What about your Facebook page for people to go like? It's, uh, uh, I think it's the Tom Irwin Music, too. And that's what it is. Well, it's, it's pretty. Don't go to Tom Irwin, the famous actor. Oh, okay. <laughs> he's from Peoria. Wow. Yes, he's, he's like a world famous that. actor. He's, oh. He really is. He's on NBC and stuff. He, can, uh, we have a world <laughs> famous musician. Yeah. So there you that's go. right. No, <laughs> thinking, you know, right. And uh, hey, when the camera shuts off, we're going to talk about. Okay, yes. And now we'll pull him in. All right. All right. Yeah. Well, guys. Okay. Uh, thank, thank you, you so much, much for Thanks tuning more. in. Thank you. Until next time. Great job. Great job. Great job. Anytime. We'll see you back on the Gwen and Johnny show, I guess. Yeah. Hey, guess who are next? Did we say who was next week? Or I don't remember. NCR. NCR. Yeah, I was at it. So tune in for NCR next What's week. What's that spell? NCR. Uh, yes. Yes. <laughs> All right. Have a great night. Goodbye. Good night, guys. Bye.